Matching shark tattoos, kisses on an Italian yacht? When it comes to flings between famous stars, it's not just the weather that gets hot in the summer months. It's obvious you wouldn't want to be on Taylor Swift's bad side, given her infamous track record of breakup ballads. But would a summer tryst with the Grammy Award-winning artist be enough ammo for Swift to put pen to paper? We would have to ask the actor Tom Hiddleston, who got cozy with the singer during the summer of 2016. The two sparked romance speculation that year in May after they shared a dance together at the Met Gala. Swift was on the heels of her breakup with Calvin Harris, and it didn't take her long to fall into the arms of Hiddleston. Sources told Us Weekly at the time that he used every opportunity to put on the charm for the singer. Their romance was short-lived, but it seems there was no bad blood. The two split up in September 2016, but the actor had nothing but kind words for his former flame. Hiddleston told GQ, "...Taylor is an amazing woman. She's generous and kind and lovely, and we had the best time. Of course, it was real." Drake and Rihanna had a long-standing friendship that morphed into a relationship that fizzled into a mere acquaintanceship. Their complicated history began in 2009, when Rihanna was seen getting cozy at a bowling alley with Drake following her split with Chris Brown. Rihanna shut down rumors that the two were anything serious, however, saying that the two had nothing romantic at the time. Drake seemed to think differently, however. In his track Fireworks, he raps, "...I could tell it wasn't love, I just thought you'd f with me. Who could have predicted Lucky Strike would have you stuck with me?" Though Drake admitted to the New York Times in 2010 that he felt ghosted by the singer, the artists collaborated on What's My Name that year and on the 2011 track Take Care. They even joined forces for work in 2016. The latter stirred up romance rumors when fans got wind of the steamy music video for the joint track, which had the singer dancing on Drake. I mean, we have a lot of genuine energy between us, so… The pair got matching shark tattoos, and Drake professed his love for her at that year's MTV Movie Awards. But not even permanent ink could save this summer fling. A source told E! News in October 2016, "...they are just close friends who are always in each other's lives." Rihanna went official with ASAP Rocky in 2020 and is pregnant with their second child as of this video. Out of all of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors, Zac Efron has been topping the list ever since he stole our hearts in High School Musical. The actor has had his fair share of arm candy, but as far as summer flings go, his whirlwind Italian rendezvous with Michelle Rodriguez was one to be remembered. Rodriguez is nearly 10 years Efron's senior, but age played no factor on this pairing. Romance rumors were confirmed after pictures obtained by the Daily Mail showed the two lip-locked on a Sardinia vacation in July of 2014. The two had spent weeks getting to know each other after sharing a mutual friend in common, Italian entrepreneur Gianluca Vacchi, who also joined them on their Italian vacation. While doing backflips off luxury boats and cozying up under Italian sunsets might have worked for a while, this romance fizzled out by August. Sources told Us Weekly at the time that the actor could have been harboring more feelings for her than she was for him. For Rodriguez, the short fling makes sense, as she told Interview Magazine in 2015 that she avoids commitment, saying, "...I've got lots of really great friends, but the thought of being in a long lasting relationship? Psh, I couldn't last more than six months with somebody." I can't even last two years with a partner, man! <laughs> Before Hailey Baldwin became Hailey Bieber, she was one of Justin Bieber's many romances. After meeting as just kids in 2009 on the set of The Today Show, Justin and Hailey went on to run in the same circles for years, maintaining a close friendship. We, we met because my dad, he brought me to the Today Show when Justin performed there. Bieber's nearly decade-long relationship with Selena Gomez took center stage starting in 2011 and saw plenty of ups and downs before they called it quits in 2018. It wasn't until one of Bieber's brief splits with Gomez that Haley began to appear as less of a friend and more as a potential lover. In November 2014, while Bieber was on a break from Gomez, he was seen attending church with Haley and Kendall Jenner. Justin tried to quell the rumors by writing in an Instagram post, "...people are crazy. I'm super single and this is my good friend you would know otherwise." It did little to tame speculation, as the model was later spotted vacationing with Justin and his family in Anguilla in 2015. And Justin shared an Instagram photo of him and Haley lip-locked following New Year's 2016. The two ended their summer fling in August of 2016, following Justin moving on to model Sophia Ritchie, but the two found their way back together again. After two years apart, they declared their love for each other in July of 2018 and went on to get married not long after.
Pete Davidson has a long list of beautiful girlfriends, but no one can forget Ariana Grande. Their brief summer romance may have fizzled out, but the singer's ultimate breakup ballad, Thank You Next, inspired by Davidson, plays on. The duo's passion-filled fling began in the spring of 2018, years after the pair first met. In a full-circle moment, the two crossed paths first in 2014, when Davidson made his debut as a comedian on Saturday Night Live, the same night that Grande was the show's guest artist. Hey, Ariana, I overheard. Do you like want to smoke some pot or something? <laughs> Four years later, things heated up between the pair after they were spotted getting cozy backstage at the 2018 Billboard Music Awards. Shortly after they made their relationship public, packing on the PDA and even getting matching tattoos. Just weeks after they went Instagram official in May of that year, Davidson and Grande went on to get engaged that June. Following Grande grappling with her ex-boyfriend Mac Miller's accidental overdose in September, Davidson and Grande officially called it quits in October 2018. Before Blake Lively fell in love with Ryan Reynolds, she was an eligible bachelorette who Leonardo DiCaprio had his eyes on. Lively first crossed paths with DiCaprio in 2010 when she was considered for the role of Daisy Buchanan in the film The Great Gatsby. Though she didn't snag the part, she did capture DiCaprio's attention. The two stars were first seen together romantically in May 2011, getting friendly aboard Steven Spielberg's yacht, no less. It was a fitting, cozy encounter that led to many more worldwide adventures during their five-month-long fling. Both the actors had called it quits with their previous long-term loves, with Lively splitting with actor Penn Badgley in 2010 and DiCaprio ending things with model Bar Raffaelli not long after. Airlines miles were just a number for the pair, as Lively flew all the way to Sydney for a weekend to visit her beau while he filmed The Great Gatsby that summer. Though DiCaprio seemed smitten with his then-girlfriend, the two called it quits by October 2011 on good terms. Insiders revealed to E! News that the breakup was due to long distance and ill-fated timing. Lively mended her broken heart quickly however, after she was spotted the same month getting close to her future husband, Ryan Reynolds. He's my best friend, and, and he's just the best father in, in the whole world. Well. Brooklyn Beckham and Madison Beer's teen romance sparked buzz during the summer of 2017. The son of soccer star David Beckham started seeing the artist in July of that year after the two were seen enjoying a show together in California. Beer is most notoriously known for being a prodigy of Justin Bieber after he discovered her singing covers on YouTube. The pair's summer fling seemed to heat up quickly, with Beer meeting Beckham's mother, Victoria, for dinner in West Hollywood a few weeks after she first met Brooklyn. The singer previously dated fellow musician Jack Galinsky, but their breakup made headlines after a leaked recording surfaced. The audio had fans accusing Galinsky of verbally abusing his former girlfriend, which Beer later claimed was true. Beer and Beckham spent a few months together, but ultimately called it quits by the end of August, with Beer admitting she couldn't handle a long-distance relationship. Brooklyn was based at the time in New York studying photography, and Beer was based in Los Los Angeles for her music career. She went on to reveal their tight schedules made it difficult to make things work. Who wouldn't want to date their own personal superhero? It's a question Kaylee Cuoco knows all too well, as she had a brief fling with actor Henry Cavill in 2013. The news broke that the two were starting to see each other in July of that year, with sources revealing to Us Weekly that Cavill has had his eye on Cuoco for a while. According to the insiders, Cavill is a huge Big Bang Theory fan, and it's fitting, since Cuoco is a fan of Cavill. The actor first sparked rumors in June when she posted a photo alongside a poster of Cavill for Man of Steel, telling fans, it's fantastic in every way. Just nearly two weeks after tabloids reported they were seeing each other, the actors called it off. Though their romance may have been cut short, it didn't stop fans from speculating what Cuoco thought of her real-life Superman. On an episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Cuoco was pressured by Cohen to reveal if Cavill was really a, quote, man of steel. I don't know. <laughs> Cuoco went on to wed Carl Cook in 2018, but the two separated in 2021. Cavill is dating Hollywood executive Natalie Viscuzzo, as of the time of this video. Ed Sheeran had a lot to say about singer Ellie Goulding for someone who allegedly was never exclusive with her. The musical duo was first linked in August 2013 when they were spotted holding hands at that year's MTV Video Music Awards. She wrote in a since-deleted tweet at the time, I love that holding hands with my friends means we're an item. In that case, I am in many relationships. Lover, not a hater. It may have had a bit more significance for Sheeran, who went on to write a song about whatever they had, or didn't have. He admitted his 2014 track, Don't, was written about Golding moving on from him to former One Direction star Niall Horan. Lyrics seem to paint Golding as a cheater, with Sheeran writing, I never saw him as a threat till you disappeared with him to have sex. Golding denied the rumors, ultimately admitting that she was never in a relationship with Sheeran. She spoke to the Daily Mail about the aftermath, revealing, 
You know, completely honestly, it caused me a huge amount of… Stress is not the word. It caused me a lot of trauma, actually. I envy the fact that my friends just spent their 20s having flings and one-night stands, but every single thing I did was written about. I was made to feel like a terrible person, and I really struggled with that because I know I'm not. Justin Bieber made headlines off the heels of one of his many breaks with former girlfriend Selena Gomez when he moved on with model Sofia Richie. The couple sparked rumors in the summer of 2016 when Bieber took the model on a trip to Cabo San Lucas for her 18th birthday. Their romance lit up Instagram that summer when Selena Gomez fans started backlashing Bieber for moving on so quickly. Bieber posted a black-and-white Instagram photo of him and Richie at the time, writing, I'm gonna make my Instagram private if you guys don't stop the hate. This is getting out of hand. If you guys are really fans, you wouldn't be so mean to people like that. Even Gomez gave her two cents on the coupling, writing in a since-deleted comment, If you can't handle the hate, then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend, lol. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your fans. They love you. Regardless of the drama, Richie opened up about her relationship with Bieber in an interview with Billboard in September of that year, revealing, We have a special relationship. Justin is very easy to talk to, and that's hard to find with people in Los Angeles. Ultimately, Richie and Bieber weren't much more than a summer whirlwind romance, as the two called it quits that fall. Richie went on to get engaged to British music executive Elliot Grange, and Bieber married Hailey Bieber in 2018. Bella Thorne and Scott Disick's short summer romance caused quite a stir in the tabloids during the summer of 2017. Thorne was spotted with Disick in France during the Cannes Film Festival. The two were spotted lounging in the sun together looking every bit of a couple until Disick had his eyes on several other bikini-clad beauties just hours later. Perhaps the 15-year age difference between the pair may have sparked some miscommunication. After photos had the internet speculating on Thorne and Disick, the actor revealed she had nothing serious with the reality star.